friends welcome to geotechnocrats once again when you actually start working on a gis project the first and the foremost thing which you do is you extract your study area boundary from your country boundary so in today's session we will learn from where you can download the country boundaries and how you can extract your study area boundary from the country boundary shape file so let us start with the session in today's tutorial we will learn that how you can extract your study area in order to generate your study area map so first of all you have to download your country shape file and you can do that by using uh, diva gis website which is most commonly used and the most popular website for downloading the shape file so you just click on diva gis once you click on diva gis you'll get this option select free spatial data at country level if you want to download it at country level click on this here you have to select your country in this case it's india then administrative areas okay once you click on okay it will ask you to download the spatial data and you can download the country level boundaries from here so it will give you the boundaries at state level at country level as well as at district level it depends upon you which uh, attribute you want to use so once you have downloaded your shape file once you are GIS and you have to add your shape file using add data icon for example I want to use the I want to extract the state daily state out of the India shape file so I will use the state level boundaries so here is your boundary at state level the shape file so this shape file is a vector data in polygon form because these are boundaries as I have already told you so uh, again um, we have already discussed in a previous tutorial that while we while like while we were discuss, discussing about spatial and non-spatial data that every vector data has associated non-spatial attribute data in the form of table so here by just right clicking on this file name you can open this attribute table so this is your attribute table now look at your attribute table carefully now for example i have to make a study area map of delhi using this shape file so first of all we have to select the uh, uh, Delhi from this attribute table although this this is you know uh, lesser lesser number of attributes present here but uh, when you have a huge data or at district level where you are having thousands of uh, attributes present there so in that case you usually select your specific area using select by attribute option which makes it easy for you so i'll just tell you how you can use select by attribute so for example i want to create a map for delhi so it will be my target area and it is under the field name stnm so what we'll do uh, now i will go to select by attribute select by attribution here in this drop down menu select by attribute and as my target field is stnm so i will select stnm in order to get all the unique values present there so it's loading here is select by attribute now this is my target field so i will select this and i will click on get unique values so all the values associated with this will flash here use equal to and i want delhi delhi so the field name equal to the unique value and then apply so you can see that the Delhi is highlighted here so this select by attribute option is very useful when the data when you have a huge amount of data a large data and you have to select any specific uh, attribute from a huge data so we use 
select by attribute option in that case okay, okay so it is selected now so now you can see that my study area delhi is highlighted on my mother shape file now what i have to do i have to create a layer from the selected feature for that i will again right click on my shape file icon go to selection and create layer from selected features so here is a temporary file saying now you can close this now this is the uh, extracted study area from the mother shape file now you have to save this because this is a temporary file you have to save this in the form of shape file so right click data export data from here you can select your preferred location where you want to save your boundary or your study area and just give the name as it's a delhi boundary so i have given the name delhi save okay do you want to add the exported data to the map yes so here is your study area now you can go to layout view and create your study area map using the layouts how to create map layout using arcgis we will be it will be explained in my next tutorial so thank you for watching